It's, so let's just say it right now. Tomorrow's the night. What are we going to do? Who's staying? Occupy Tampa Bay. Huh? Who's staying? Occupy. Occupy. Occupy Tampa Bay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, another point. Last night we had a direct action group meeting. Whoever was here last night knows how it went. We, as a general consensus, decided that if, if and when we do get arrested, we are going to lay on our stomachs, put our hands behind our backs, let them cuff us, stand up for them so we are not resisting arrest. We're going to get that all on film. We're going to show that we're complete. we've been completely compliant for the last two and a half weeks to their laws. And they, we have them recorded saying that we can do this. We have an argument. So. Make an amendment to that to get on your knees. We're gonna stand. We're gonna. If they ask us to stand, we're gonna stand up with them. You know, I mean, we're gonna do what they say. All right, but so if they try to arrest you, don't. It's basically, down. be doing yeah, what they say. Yeah, I think. You know, I mean, I think as long as you're compliant, they're not gonna charge you with something like that. You Mike know? check. Mike check. Let's not have. Otherwise, we're gonna say this again. So, whatever you were just saying. Oh, I mean, you know, basically, if you don't want to resist, you're basically just got to be compliant. If they say lay down, I would assume lay down. If they take on your knees, on your knees, you know, it's just don't, you know, wrestle with them. Don't slap their arm or something, you know, don't, you know, so that's basically what it would be, you know, I mean, and I, you know, I, although I don't know, and I'm going to have to get clarification from the city tomorrow, believe me, I will be on the phone a lot tomorrow, and I do not see, you know, I asked him, I'm like, if they were to remain on the sidewalk, what would they be arrested for? Because the thing is, is there's two completely different sets of ordinances. When you are in the park, there's ordinances that say it closes at sunset. That case has been to the Supreme Court, and that, that court has ruled, and that they've said that that's allowable. They can tell people they can't go into the park, according to the Supreme Court. They have signs posted, though, that say 10 p.m. Well, you know, well, 10 p.m., then, if that's what, you know, 10 p.m., then after 10 p.m., you know, then you can't be in the park. But the sidewalk, this is a traditional public forum is what's referred to in the law. This is where people come to congregate. It's where they come to get from point A to point B. It's where they come to express their First Amendment rights. There is nothing in the ordinances that say that the sidewalk closes at any particular time. There is stuff in the side uh, in the ordinances saying that you cannot block the sidewalk. Now, that is where the gray area comes in, you know, what constitutes blocking the sidewalk. I mean, right now we've got a rather wide gap. Somebody somebody could ride a bike by. And you know, but you know, it's and then the lawnmower can come by too.